So this is actually really cringy, and we need to talk about it. Now, this is a, a website called the Babylon Bee. Now, what this is an attempt to do is it just ripped off the entire shtick of the onion. It's literally a carbon copy, except it's supposed to be like the conservative version of it. And so it makes these articles that are not funny. It's hard to even find the joke in it a lot of times. And it's just straight up copying uh, the onion. And so here they sent, they, they put an article up. It says, Bernie Sanders changes mind on space travel after Elon Musk builds him a fourth home on Mars. So this is a play on uh, the whole three homes thing that Bernie Sanders was subjected to. Do recall that anybody who is a senator or representative has to have two, uh, two residencies because they work in D.C. and in their home base. And so they have to have a residency in both areas. Um, and then Jane had inherited a house from uh, one of her parents. So it was just this big smear tactic essentially against him. Um, but then also it's this very bizarre, creepy, very like disgusting idolatry that the Babylon Bee is taking part in in this Elon Musk like jerk off session is to act like he's like this Tony Stark like Jesus like figure. And it, I feel like it's going to get more and more creepy with Elon Musk because there's going to be like a similar Jesus type of situation with him except it, with the tech bros instead of just religious people in general. Um, and it's getting very bizarre. Now, this all stems from Elon Musk, I believe, was getting heat from Bernie Sanders because the NLRB um, had just, uh, you know, ruled that an Elon Musk had to remove an anti-union tweet from 2018. And an investigation did find that he had actually, uh, he had violated anti-union law by, I think, threatening workers and actually punishing one for uh, getting together to unionize. So he got in trouble with that. Bernie Sanders is on, on an, uh, a, an awesome war path right now where he is defending unionization, especially in the face of Amazon. He was just in Alabama striking, um, you know, stumping for uh, in favor of Amazon workers being able to unionize. And uh, this is just really cringy stuff. And if you just look through the, Bab the Babylon Bee's articles, they're really cringy. It seems to be the case that... The Elon Musk idolatry is, is more a trend than a one-off event, which makes it even creepier. I mean, it's just basically like an Elon Musk jerk-off site. And uh, really cringy stuff, man. The fact that you could uh, put Elon Musk on this crazy pedestal and to make these really cringy jokes as if Elon Musk is, you know, this Mars figure is hilarious.